Yo, what's going on, dudes? We're back with another episode in our full BTD6 playthrough. And in today's episode, we will be taking on another boss event. So obviously, we're going to be taking on a Vortex because that's this week's a boss. Now, for our hero, we're going to be using Sada for this event because we don't have a Benjamin unlocked yet. And we don't have the free Dart Monkeys. So we might as well just start off with our Sada because our Sada should be able to carry us for quite some time. So the first thing we're going to be going for is going to be the Banana Farm. So we need to save up enough money in order to buy our Banana Farm. All right, so round seven, we have our first banana farm so let's go ahead and place it up here in the top right i mean top left <laughs> then of course we're going to upgrade the increased production then greater production then we'll be buying a four more banana farms upgraded to a 200 as well because soda should be able to last by yourself for quite some time and if we do need to buy another tower we'll end up grabbing ourselves an engineer monkey but i think we don't need to grab another tower until like round 27 when we're gonna have to grab like a alchemist that's upgraded to lead to gold that would make a little bit more money but we still have quite a few rounds until then round 27 we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our alchemist up to lead to gold like uh, so then swap the targeting over to targeting strong and then buy large potions now let's start upgrading our banana farms up to marketplaces right, so round 36 we only have a four marketplaces so now we're gonna go ahead and go with a little bit of a different approach here and we're gonna go ahead and buy ourselves a merchantman we'll place this merchantman right here and then we'll go ahead and upgrade it all the way up to flavor traits because we're obviously gonna have to sell a couple of our farms in order to buy the elite defender for the tier one boss so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and buy ourselves a monkey village upgrade it up to monkey commerce We'll buy ourselves another village, upgrade it to the same exact pathway. Then we have a $2,600. We can sell each of these for $5,000. So that's roughly going to be $20,000, $25,000. We definitely have enough money. So can we actually get away with not selling all of our farms here? Uh, let's go ahead and start buying our Sniper Monkey really quick. $7,000. We can sell this for $7,000 as well. So I think we can get away with not needing to sell all of our marketplaces. That way we can make a little bit of money mid-round. Then let's go ahead and buy a Jungle Drops. Now let's go ahead and start buying a couple of uh, banana farms and upgrading these all the way up to a brf all right and almost done with the tier one boss and there we have it we've dealt with the tier one boss so let's go ahead and press continue let's go ahead and sell 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 and then let's grab ourselves a wizard monkey we'll upgrade this wizard monkey up to a dragon's breath and the dragon's breath should be able to last for quite some time let's go ahead and buy ourselves a brf and now the next thing i want to do i'll let's go ahead and start saving up for a engineer monkey and then we'll go ahead and place this engineer monkey right here and we'll go ahead and upgrade it up to overclock and then we can make a little bit more cash all right round 48 there's our overclock now the next thing we need to do is we need to buy some more brfs now we'll be doing something a little bit different for this one we're not going to end up selling our marketplaces until we get a couple of brfs down because i think if we sell our marketplaces we definitely regret it because right now we only have a one banana research facility and two marketplaces so we're really behind on our farming mainly because we don't have a lot of monkey knowledge all right so round 56 we'll go ahead and sell our two marketplaces to buy another the brf and now that we have a four brfs we're gonna go ahead and call it with the buying banana farms because we're on round 57 so for the vortex i think we only have a couple of options here uh the first option is to go with another elite defender and then just like super buff the elite defender and then maybe grab ourselves another tower that does a lot of damage to uh moab balloons so maybe like a moab eliminator uh, that might work or we could go for like some dark knights and stuff like that to see what's gonna work best against the vortex but well, first things first let's go ahead and buy ourselves a monkey village we'll place it right here upgrade it up to monkey commerce and then let's go ahead and buy ourselves a second monkey village and upgrade it to the same thing then let's grab ourselves a sniper monkey let's go ahead and upgrade it up to elite defender with full metal jacket and large caliber and then we'll pop it over to targeting strong then let's go ahead and buy jungle drums we'll also grab ourselves an alchemist to go ahead and buff up this boy like so and then for the last tower that we're going to end up going for i was originally thinking about going for moab eliminator but we don't have or we don't even have it unlocked yet so i think the next best option would be to go for like a monkey ace and we'll grab like a uh specter i think i think this should work all right so that's the first tier down but the other reason why i want to go for the specter is for round 63 um the specter will be able to do damage to the boss as well as it'll be able to uh, deal with round 63 pretty much by itself and then the elite defender can just focus on dealing with the boss there we go now that we have all of this let's go ahead and start buying ourselves some more banana farms um actually we also need to grab a radar scanner because if we don't have radar scanner we're not gonna be able to deal with camo balloons almost made a little bit of an oopsie there all right i think our elite defender is gonna get stunned yep our elite defender got stunned which is all right because our specter is still up so we don't need to worry about normal balloons and we are on the last tier of the boss so we should be setting pretty good there we go there's another brf and then after we get done dealing with 
with all of this, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up selling all of these towers in order to buy... Oops, I ended up selling the wrong, the wrong one. Oh, well, let's go ahead and buy our Crossbow Master really, really quick. We'll sell, 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 sell. Uh, Crossbow Master, now let's go ahead and buy ourselves some more BRFs. So our farming's definitely hurting because we don't have monkey knowledge, but I think we're doing all right. Like this definitely wouldn't be able to work on elite because I don't think a specter and elite defender will, would be able to work against the tier two boss. Now, the only question is what we're going to be going for for tier three. So I have a couple of uh, different ideas of what to go for for tier three. We obviously don't have the mad, so that's not going to work. But what we can go for is we can go for the avatar of wrath flying fortress as well as we can go for the elite defender again. And and we can also go for the spirit of the forest that way we can make a little bit more money with the spirit of the forest as well so we'll go ahead and stop our farming on round 75 and that way we can start saving up money for our big towers so the first big tower that we're going to go for we're obviously going to go for the flying fortress because i mean the flying fortress is just going to be good because we don't have to worry about it being stunned by the boss and we just got a level nice perfect another monkey knowledge point we're getting closer to unlocking the double crossbow master as well as the free dart monkey now i probably should should have bought the double discount village for our monkey ace but i just wanted to make sure that i was actually able to afford the flying fortress before round 80 because i want this boy to do damage as long as it possibly can there we go there's our flying fortress so now let's go ahead and support our flying fortress with a first of village because we want to give our flying fortress some camo detection we'll go ahead and buy a radar scanner there's our radar scanner let's also buy jungle drums and then let's also buy ourselves an alchemist for it as well and then after we do all of this um i almost wonder if it'd be worth it to like grab an overclock for it i'm not exactly sure so uh, let's just go ahead and go with the second plan and we'll go ahead and grab ourselves a druid we'll place our druid right here in the center of the map and we'll start going for an avatar wrath but first before we do that let's also place a couple of villages here let's grab monkey business monkey commerce as well as another monkey business monkey commerce and we'll do bigger radius on this one and then we'll go ahead and start saving up to buy our avatar wrath mid-round now i know the center of the map probably isn't the best placement for it but i mean we really don't have too much of an option because we want to make sure our avatar of wrath is going to have the most time to actually be able to hit the boss and we could do that by placing it in the center of the map let's also buy a radar scanner and now let's go ahead and buy ourselves more druids and then with these druids i'm not going to do anything special with them i'm only going to be upgrading them up to pop so that way we can get our avatar of wrath up to the five times druid buff as soon as possible all right so that is the first skull down and this is this should be the last druid for our five times druid buff now we have the five times druid buff let's go ahead and leave it like this and then let's start to buy ourselves some more banana farms all right so now that we have all of this now we need to start saving up to buy our banana central so with our banana central we're going to be upgrading this one up to our banana central so we need a hundred thousand dollars in order to do that and we'll get the hundred thousand dollars by selling the avatar of wrath along with all the poplars and we're not going to buy anything else for the time being i want to keep the flying fortress so that way i don't need to worry too much about any balloons slipping through i I know it's probably a little bit of a waste because we could sell the flying fortress but i think the flying fortress will be a little bit better than the avatar wrath there we go perfect so let's go ahead and sell all of these let's upgrade this up to the banana central and now the next thing we're going to be doing is we're just going to be buying as many farms as we possibly can all right so round 94 we pretty much have the entire screen filled up with the brfs so now we're just going to be saving up to buy our apex plasma master as well as a couple of other towers to support it so of course you guys already know we really don't have too many options options when it comes to like our tier fives because we don't have a lot of tier fives unlocked yet so that's definitely something that we're working on right now in our full bt6 playthrough all right so here we are at the end of round 99 let's go ahead and buy our apex plasma master and we managed to get paragon degree 31 perfect so we have a pretty strong paragon on our sides now so now that we have the paragon on our side hopefully this is going to be enough to take down the boss uh, it looks like our paragon is going to get stunned which is super unfortunate but because we have our flying fortress we shouldn't need to worry about any balloons slipping through so in the meantime we're just going to be collecting as much money as we possibly can and then for the tier five i have a couple of ideas of like what towers we should go for like we're obviously going to be going for the avatar of wrath and then on top of the avatar of wrath we're also probably going to be going for the ninja monkey spam and on top of the ninja monkey spam we're pretty much going to be buying every tier five that we can possibly buy unfortunately it looks like the spike factory is banned again this week which is super unfortunate but at the same time we'll just have to make do with whatever we have all right so let's go ahead and fast forward to round 119 and then then i'll bring you guys back once i sell all my farms all right so here we are at the end of round 219 i sold all my farms and we ended up with 2.8 million dollars so let's go ahead and start setting up our defense all right dude so here we are this is going to be our defense here we obviously 
have uh, the a bunch of ninjas set up here for the shinobi strat we have a bunch of arcane spike wizard monkeys we have uh, the circular sun avatars that go around the entire track i also grabbed a bunch of specters we obviously have uh, the sarbamba and we also have the sky shredder as well on top of the flying fortress when finally we also have uh, the avatar of wrath to go and hopefully do a little bit more damage to the boss all right now that we've had all of these the towers let's go ahead and give it a shot to see if we can actually deal oh my goodness dude i can't see a thing let me go ahead and turn down the effects really really quick that way we can actually see what's going on here oh man this is ridiculous all right so it's looking not so good guys i'm not gonna lie it's it's not looking good at all oh my goodness how is this possible man all right so let's go ahead and activate abilities here i don't think i have the mad unlocked yet so i don't think the mad would be able to help us out um what else do we need um do we have any other oh dude i could buy a homeland defense right oh uh, let's go ahead and buy a homeland defense to i completely forgot i had that tower and we leveled up to level 63 let's go all right so we need to activate homeland defense as soon as possible and also let me see is there any other towers that i forgot about that could help us out a lot i guess i could buy myself like a couple of dart monkeys but i don't think the cross so match is gonna make a big difference here oh my goodness it's so laggy it's so laggy dudes there's so many towers on the screen uh, let's activate this uh oh wait why all of a sudden are we like completely rocking the boss like we only have two tiers left dudes are we actually gonna be able to beat the boss did the homeland defense make that big of a difference oh let's go and activate homeland defense oh we've already got it knocked down to half health yo let's go but this time i think our uh apex plasma match is gonna get stunned dude it's so laggy probably from all of the shinobis as well on top of the shinobis there's also the avatar of wrath man i think i made a little bit of a mistake here adding all of these towers but whatever we have to make do with what we have dudes all right so we're about to knock down the third tier and then we'll only have us what 600,000 health left yo let's go we're down to the last skull i think we might actually be able to do this um unfortunately it looks like uh i'd say about half of our specters are knocked out but it's all right they should be getting unstunned here in a second and then we only have oh my goodness we still have 500,000 health dude the health is going down so slow oh well i mean there's not much that we can do about it just hopefully our towers are gonna be able to deal with the vortex boss all right we're down to the last 300,000 health oh uh, let me see is there any other abilities that we can activate that will actually do damage uh, we have all of these uh, slow effects, but that's not really going to do much against the Vortex. Um, what else do we have? Mm, that's about it. We really don't have too many towers to have abilities yet. But we're down to the last 40,000 health, and there we have it, dudes. We have officially beaten another boss. We have another knock on our belt for beating the normal bosses. And we ended up getting two extra levels from this as well. Speaking of levels, let's go ahead and knock out a couple more Monkey Knowledge points. So let's go ahead. We'll buy this one here. And we need two more Monkey Knowledge points in order to get the double cross the master so that's definitely one that we're gonna have to get here soon but so far so good um i ended up buying the wrong upgrade i meant to upgrade this one but i mean it really it really doesn't make too much of a difference because we're gonna have to buy this upgrade anyways but anyways dudes that's gonna do it for the video if you guys enjoyed make sure you guys hit that like button and i'll see you dudes in the next one